Oh, I look, I'm really proud of the players there. I thought the effort and commitment was, uh, was exceptional. We played against a very good team. I think everyone needs to know that. Uh, we got one player in the whole of Canada ever played Super Rugby, Tyler Hardron. There's four or five guys out there for that team tonight. I think the big difference in both teams was the transition, the ability to, from an error, to really attack us and uh, be ruthless and take advantage of those things. But uh, we defended manfully. We scored some very nice tries of our own. And um, we, we, you know, we put in a very good performance against a very good team. Um, and we said that we got to learn. We made a lot of errors and we got punished. That's what good teams do. Um, they're clinical. So just a drop ball might seem like just a drop ball, but against the best teams, it can result in seven points. So look, you know, there's errors. The players will know they've made those errors. The important thing is we're learning from it. And I thought you could see actual growth throughout that game. We got better as the game went on in certain aspects. So look, really pleased. Again, able to use the bench. Uh, replacements going on and finishing. So, you know, we used the whole bench tonight and uh, we had a look at, you know, Will Priscilla again, young lad, really stepped up. Uh, thought he ran around full of energy and confidence and you can only do those types of guys good. Dis disappointing with some of the decisions against us as well this evening. There's a forward pass given. We could have checked the TMO, we didn't. Uh, there's a yellow card for I'm not quite sure what. Um, really, really disappointed with some of those decisions. That's what we're uh, dealing with and uh, we're all learning together on it. But uh, by and large, of course, um, despite the scoreboard, I have to be pleased with a lot of the aspects. Yeah, uh, 30 seconds in, I think uh, they get the first try. I mean, what do you attest that to? Uh, just, just a slow, slow start from the boys? Well, it's a charge down. You know, that can happen in the first seconds or the last seconds. It's a charge down from a kick. Just a little bit of uh, lack of composure. Just need to be more composed. And uh, we didn't do that. So, yeah, again, we responded well. The, critical thing for me is what I want to see to go 5-0 down in 30 seconds is how we respond and the response was excellent we went back at Argentina we controlled possession for long periods unfortunately we only came away with penalties where I think we deserve tries perhaps but um, uh, yeah the, the, that's what I wanted to see from the group against a very experienced you know very good smart team and we we were in there there was a little moment just before half time we might have been on the ropes a little bit we had a couple of players down injured but the response in the second half to start the second half was excellent again. You know, smart move that we'd worked in the week, something we'd practiced, came off and almost scored uh, out in the wide channels from that move as well. So lots to be positive about. We're not obviously happy about the result, but um, sometimes you've got to look beyond that. And today is one of those days. Fine, in. One game left in the ARC against the United States. Obviously, that's a, a big one for you guys. What needs to be done to get the win? Well, I think we need a couple of decisions to go our way. I really think in this competition, we've uh, we've come short on some of the decisions. Um, having said that, we need to be better in our execution. We need to be clinical. Um, I thought we were clinical. Turn them over on our own try line and go the length was an example of what we need to be doing, more positive. And that, as I say, the players learned on the run tonight. But against the, a very good USA team, you know, 15 in the world, I think at the moment, we. we we need to cut out some of those errors, get used to the tempo. It's a pity we couldn't play against those types of teams every week. This is the reason why Argentinian rugby is growing and growing. They're in Super Rugby, they're in the Rugby Championship, and they're able to grow those players, and they get used to the speed and tempo. And that's what we're going to face next week, is high-intensity speed against a very good USA team.